And new at five, for the first time since his arrest last night, we are seeing the man who police say vandalized a Titusville mosque and left bacon at the front door, a gesture meant to be offensive to Muslims. Yeah, we're getting a look at the surveillance video, too, showing all the lamp breaking, window smashing, and camera bashing. News 6's Eric Von Anken is live at the Brevard County Jail for us tonight with that suspect. Faced a judge this afternoon. So, what did he have to say, Eric? Very little, Matt. He told the judge inside the jail here that he could not afford an attorney. That was all. She ended up raising his bond from $2,000 up to $7,500 bucks because, as she pointed out, he is a convicted criminal. Michael Wolf, first, please, Mr. Wolf. In court, Wolf was wearing a jail uniform. No camouflage pants or backpack like the outfit the Titusville police say he was wearing when he slashed cameras and lights and windows at this mosque. The Islamic Society of Central Florida gave us this surveillance video from Friday night. And notice the man with the machete also had a mohawk on his head. You're charged with a third degree felony of criminal mischief to a place of worship. Your current bond is $2,000. Sir, can you afford to hire an attorney? Wolf, when he told the judge he was indigent, was sporting the same kind of cut. I've reviewed your prior record, which is extensive, including four uh, failures to appear, uh, recent release from DOC, fairly recent, 2012, and a history of burglary convictions. The judge noted Wolf's criminal past and that he's charged with a felony for the vandalism, not a misdemeanor because it was a mosque that police say he targeted. And prosecutors tell us they may add even more charges. There is a state hate crime statute and that is something we of course would look at and investigate and make a determination whether or not the crime would be enhanced as a hate crime. I am very disturbed by the fact that this man, uh, you know, came into the mosque with a machete. The president of the Islamic Society is relieved that Wolf has been arrested and that the mosque was closed at the time of the vandalism. I don't know what mental condition he was in. Wolf was arrested after a tip came in, and this comes from the arrest affidavit. In fact, I was the only reporter to get my hands on this today. Detectives in here also write that Wolf admitted to doing this. He said that what he did was stupid. Matt, after having a few drinks. I see. Eric Monek and live for us. Thank you.